Hi, I'm Gregory Blair, and this is Tools, Not Rules, Tips for String Riders. Hi, I'm Gregory Blair, and this is Tools, Not Rules, Tips for Screen Riders, Episode 3. Visual storytelling. The first part of that is screenwriter versus director. Why do I say that? Because you're the screenwriter, right? So make sure you're doing your job and not the director's job. What do I mean by that? In your script, remember you're not directing the movie. So don't direct on the page in your writing. Don't give any camera chatter. Don't say, we pan to, or close up on. You don't need to say any of that. You can describe it in your writing. For example, if I say, a man walks into a room and sits in a chair, his face slowly begins to scrunch into a tiny ball of wrinkles. Okay, you know that second part where I'm describing his face is a close-up. A director understands that. You don't have to tell them close-up on the man's face. Don't say that. Your writing will indicate whether it's a close-up or not. And frankly, the director may decide to film it a completely different way. You're the writer, not the director. Another uh, thing to keep out of your writing is intrusive phrases like, we see, or it looks like, or it appears as if. None of that matters. You say, we see a car drive by. Just say a car drives by. It looks like a bird is sitting in a nest. Just say, a bird is sitting in its nest. Get rid of any extraneous stuff like that. You don't need it. You don't need camera shatter. You don't need we see. It kind of falls into, imagine this, the tight is right lesson. All these things go together and work together. It's very, very, very convenient. <laughs> So the next thing that I want to talk about is probably the biggest screenwriting rule of all, which is show, don't tell. In novels, you can tell all kinds of things. You can talk for hours about what's going on inside a character's head. You cannot do that in a movie script. In a script, everything is being written for the screen. So it has to be visual. So don't tell us your character is angry. Show us the behavior that tells us that visually. So here I'm going to describe another angry thing of this woman. Uh, her face shakes, scrunching, beet red. She hurls her dinner plate across the room. So I've described a close-up of her face, and I've described a big action that she's performed. Two short sentences, and there will be no one reading those sentences who's confused that she isn't angry. It's very clear she's angry. I've shown it on her face and I've shown it in her action. So you never have to say, Joanne is angry. Show us Joanne being angry. How does she exhibit it on her face and in her actions? That's what it means to show not to tell. Hopefully that's helpful and will make you a better screenwriter without interfering with unnecessary direction or phrases or sentences that tell rather than show. Keep on writing.